The year 2023 can be considered as a year of great strides and accomplishments. The Air, Noise, Radiation and Biodiversity Department of the Environmental Protection Agency has kept resolute with their goals. These strides build upon the progressive achievement significant of mention during the year 2023. The collaboration with the Guyana Police Force and the Complaints and Communications Department at the agency. This growing effort saw a total of four noise awareness sessions being held with entertainment providers living in Georgetown, the East Coast and the East Bank of Demerara and Burbese. These sessions aim at educating entertainment providers on the Environmental Protection Noise Management Regulation, the application process for noise permits and best practices to reduce noise emissions. Guidelines are currently being developed for entertainment providers which will further raise awareness of the noise regulation and best practices. In the aid of fostering greater collaboration, the team partnered with a number of agencies including ExxonMobil Guyana Limited, the Environmental Management Consultants, Protected Areas Commission, and the Guyana Marine Conservation Society in the execution of the field deployment exercise for the Turtle Telemetry Program 2023 at the Shell Beach Protected Area Region 1. Within the month of May and June, this program was executed as part of the permit requirements for the LISA 1 Environmental Permit for EMGL. This was an aid to work with appropriate sea turtle conservation societies and organizations as an academic in Guyana and the region to expand existing sea turtle telemetry programs where practicable. The main objective of this program were to conduct monitoring exercises and satellite tagging of sea turtles in order to collect data on the in-water habitat used for sea turtles, spiral movements of sea turtles, and to identify their foraging grounds. This information will aid in conservation efforts of sea turtles in Guyana. Preliminary biodiversity assessments were conducted by officers at Aurora Gold Mines AGM, in Region 7 during the month of July 2023. During this biodiversity assessment, visual encounter surveys were conducted and camera traps were set up along the transit to collect and verify the data submitted in quarterly reports by said company. In that same breath, officers of the agency's technical services, the Air, Noise, Radiation and Biodiversity Division, the Information Management System and the Communications Department, along with members from the Ministry of Health, engaged in a training workshop in October of 2023, which was hosted by the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, on the safety standard and guidelines on radiation management and the use of the RISE software to better manage the inventory for radioactive sources in Guyana. In a similar way, members of relevant agency, in aid of boosting the country's capacity to detect radiation, participated in a training hosted by the agency in collaboration again with the International Atomic Energy Agency on the use of radiation detection equipment. Training involved a diverse cohort of 20 participants, inclusive of radiation safety experts, medical professionals, and environmental officers. This boosted their experience and collaboration across sectors to effectively regulate radioactive sources and limit public exposure.